Hello, welcome to Fantasy Star Online 2. We saved Cory, so now we can focus on Mother, who's starting shit. By transforming the moon. Using Eska Fall Spawn. And she's been absorbing the Fall Spawn. Which is never good. Only I can do it. Because I'm incredibly powerful. As you have all no doubt noticed, this is the state of the moon. This is an image of the portion changing color, taken via telephoto lens. That's so creepy! Are those all Eska Fallspawn? And they're trying to make a damn path to Earth with their bodies. If they get to Earth, we're screwed. No way we can fight all of them. It would be too much even for Arcs. Even if we quarantine the entirety of Earth, it wouldn't be enough. I can't believe their numbers. Mother said she couldn't integrate with Al. But it's become this bad? Cory, would I be correct in assuming that they're primarily appearing on the moon due to Mother's presence? Oh, um, yeah. My memories are fuzzy, but I think I was on the moon with her. Still, the place where we went to save Itsugi should be totally destroyed, along with those two little brats. Um, the place where Hitsugi was held is a facility that was used for moon development and later abandoned. Right now, Mother is in a place made specifically for her. It's a totally different location, I think. Hmm, that conflicts with our info from Earth Guide. Oh! Uh, well, I was pretty out of it, so maybe I'm not right, or completely wrong. Uh, I'm so sorry! What are you apologizing for? I'm just grumbling about Earth Guide's info not matching up, it's unrelated. Plus, I think you've got other people to apologize to. should have said it sooner, but I'm very sorry for all the trouble I caused everyone with arcs. I know I'll... I'll never be able to apologize enough. Think nothing of it. You are being controlled, Cory. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's not good enough. If there's anything I can do, I'll do it. Anything! I'll... Do whatever you ask! <laughs> Anything? I know! I'll leave it to our comrade here. I'll do anything! I'll commit ritual suicide! Though, I really hate pain. Uh, could someone just kill me instead? Or, I'll be a maid! I could cook and clean, and you could yell at me if there's ever any dust! Oh, or... I could uh, do a sexy dance! I'd put on that sort of show. If it were a command, I would obey. But... Uh, that would be so embarrassing! So, Hitsugi, look away! Don't watch! This reminds me of when Hitsugi first came here. I'd like to put those memories behind me. If you don't say something... Those wild ideas of hers are only going to get wilder. Mm, to start with no more apologizing, uh, make sure to support Hitsugi. Mm, no more apologizing. What? Then, uh, should I just strip? Uh, no? Meaning you should stop sweating the details and focus on being a good friend to Hitsugi. If you don't, my boneheaded sister will go off the deep end again. She needs a friend who can pump the brakes for her. Um, Hitsuki? Are you sure? I don't want to do anything weird and make trouble for you again. Cory! Right! I'm going to stop Mother and save Al. There'll be no time to waste. So, make sure you keep up. Right. 
I... I got it! Well then, we have our location, our objective, and our target. So, make sure you're ready. So gather your strength beforehand. I'll call you when we're ready. Do, do. The large scale operation has ended. Thank you for your support. Hitsuki? Are you really going to fight Mother? What? Losing your nerve at the 11th hour? Oh, no. I was just thinking about how this has all gotten so big, it might be too much for us. True. Somewhere along the way, this became a serious affair. We're dealing with the leaders of Mother Corps, Avatar Arms, Eska Fall Spawn. I never could have imagined. But no matter how big of a deal it is, it doesn't change my objectives. I'm going to save Al from Mother. That's my only goal. I see. You're still unsure, Cory? Oh, about whether you can turn against Mother? Huh? N no, I'm not! You're a part of this. So, we can't really tell if it's Mother or us that's wrong. So, that's not important. It's about whether we have the determination to act. It's about thinking and deciding for yourself. That's it. If you're still unsure, Cory, you don't have to push yourself to go along with me. That would only bring pain. It's Sugi. You want to save Al. <laughs> that makes me want to support you. And that's my only goal. That's why I have no reservations. I'm going with you, Hitsugi. Cory. And if Mother is making a mistake, we need to help her by stopping her. That's our responsibility as Mother Corps. Well, I'm going to forge ahead just like always. I hope you're ready, Cory. I am! You know, you've changed. Really? You don't think it's just an act? I don't. Before, you used logic to find solutions and push through. But you're different now. Now, you just say what you want and do it, coming out swinging. You make it sound like I act without thinking. <laughs> Which I guess isn't wrong. But you know, I like you better now, Hitsugi. <laughs> huh? You're not going to get mad? <laughs> Call me a fake and try to slice me up? <laughs> when that was going on. It did seem like you were a fake. Hmm, tell me how you really feel. Jeez. I really was feeling lost, though. <laughs> you stabbed me good, though, Cory. I guess that woke me up. <sighs> you can slice and dice and stab me, Hitsugi! Eternally, faintly. Hey, you know, that's kind of romantic. Living on forever in someone's heart. <sighs> You're just turning into Kingdom Hearts. What I really learned was to never, ever let myself waver.
Sub story time. Boop, 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 boop. Summoners, unforgivable. Time for Erica Hel Harlicker's other story or character. It'll technically, be her first in terms of the episode releases. Join the Bravers, too. Don't let those summoners steer you wrong! Come on, Eo! What's wrong with being a summoner, though? Get serious, Eo! Come on! You know, you say that, but... Why exactly are we copying Azanami's advocacy method? If the summoners are gonna sell people on cute pets, that just leaves us class advocates to appeal to people with our own cuteness. Pressing that unfair advantage of theirs and tricking even... Ugh! Those summoners are incorrigible! I'm pretty sure that's all in your imagination. Ah, hello there. Sorry, Katori's being annoying, as always. Katori proposed some ideas to advocate for the bouncers, which is rare. I figured I would come down to see what she is doing, and there it is. What are they actually doing? I guess they're aiming to advocate for the bouncers. I heard that the advocate for the bravers, Azanami, did something similar. I'm not so sure about their whole... The summoners are sneaky and we don't want to lose to them imperative, though. Although, Katori is trying to spread the bouncer class in her own way. There's some merit in that. Yet, instead of her half-hearted performance, she should embrace the spirit of rivalry. That'll make her stronger, too. I really just feel bad for Io, having been dragged into all this. All I can do for her is stop thinking about it like she suffered an accident. Bouncers! Bouncers! Bouncers are better than summoners! Save a life! Think a bouncer! Oh, and the bravers. Okay, Eo. We're hitting the gate area next. Make it stop already. That starts a chain reaction for EO in future episodes. when we first met, too. Just hit me, too. It's like it was just yesterday. Now you're just sitting there reminiscing with each other? Ah! Help me! This is a rite of passage, too. What kind of organization is ARCS? Whoa, this is so interesting. 
I wonder how different it is to shoot someone from Earth than an Arx agent. Wait, does that mean you've shot people from Arx? They look the other way for accidental friendly fire. You get three freebies. <laughs> you That's did it intentionally? Oh, I know. If you're not a baddie, you can go out and kill some baddies with me. And show me what you got. You're going to shoot me, aren't you? This will end with you accidentally shooting me. Back to Earth to talk to Adam. The bad guy. Future bad guy. Whoa, it's huge! This is Earth Guide's headquarters? Calm down, Cory. You're being rude after they were good enough to invite us here. What now? Isn't that exactly how a certain somebody reacted? Can it, Space Brain? Cory Washinomia, welcome. I am Adam Sacred. I'm glad to meet you, Anga and Hitsugi. All of you protect Earth's evolution and carry its future on your shoulders. Uh, I appreciate the courtesy, <laughs> but I'm really nobody. There's no need for such humility. On the Earth, where evolution has become stagnant, you are key because you use ether. You should be proud. Your abilities are a glimmer of hope that may lead the Earth forward. You will carry humanity into its next era. Even knowing that, so long as I'm by Hitsugi's side, I'll be happy. I just want to help Al. So all this tough stuff, it's all yours, Inga. I've heard this so many times, I'm sick of it. Adam tells everyone. You've heard it so many times, because it is a fact. The problem is a problem for Earth itself, and we can't afford to rely solely upon arcs. Evolution has stopped, and if the people who are stuck aren't pushed to a new stage, they will fall into ruin waiting for it. Taking down Mother is crucial, but thinking beyond that is also critical. You talk like a politician. Careful you don't trip and fall on your ass with your head up in the clouds like that. I'm not worried. You're watching my footing for me, aren't you? Ah, I have a meeting to attend. Apologies, but I must take my leave for now. Please, relax and unwind for a while. Don't really have time for that. Adam's a busy guy, huh? Eh, with clout like his, he's got plenty to deal with. Conflict mediation, negotiations, and all that jazz. That said, I'm sure he's well compensated for it, so he doesn't need our pity. I don't know if I really like him. Something about him feels desperate. Desperate? I mean, the world's always suffering in some way, but lately it has been especially rough. She picked up on the subtext of him being an asshole. Oh, it's you! Are you just returning now? We were just finishing our meeting. We're so in sync. Yeah, no. This is because the meeting just wouldn't end. We just kept talking in circles. That wouldn't have happened if you'd not raised an objection to my proposal. Don't you think so, Sarah? Oh, sure. Just give the okay to that absurd nonsense? Maria would kill me! All I suggested was to lift restrictions on weapons and provide more powerful armaments. What's wrong with that? No one is going to go along with that. 
And where are you going to find the supplies for something like that? You're basing all of this on your own criteria. Knock it off. Okay, come now. You two aren't going to get anywhere with all of this arguing. Sorry for the fuss. Our meeting with the Bureau representatives is finished. You probably know this, but I've become Commander of the Combat Bureau. And I'm Lieutenant now. <laughs> they keep electing dangerous people. No matter, given that the work in your positions is so simple. We of the General Affairs Bureau are errand runners, you see. We manage materials, supervise, and so forth. Regius wanted the Training Bureau, so Miss Maria became head of General Affairs. Should have seen her face when it was decided. And because of that, basically all the work's gonna trickle down to me. It's so annoying! Okay, you two. That's enough lollygagging. Return to your respective bureaus and prepare your reports. Oh, hey you! Let's head out into the field together soon! I would like to, but I don't... They don't give you your partner card. For some reason. I'm heading back. Council See you later. But unless you have to do something to unlock it. Usually it's doing missions, but I don't think you can for Claire's Craze. And none of the other members are even hanging out in the lobby. Only Kuna and Claire's Craze. What's up, Bonehead? You're looking well. I've got a date with my predecessor later. <laughs> nice, right? You must be jealous. We're not going on a date. I'm just helping you train. <laughs> No ordinary person is enough to train with me, so sometimes I ask my predecessor to join me. You don't know how to pull punches, Claris Craze. I'm pretty sure that's why your partners get tired of you so quickly. Of course! It would be meaningless to go easy on someone in training. It's an endeavor meant for accurately affirming one's true strength. A fair point, but it can be helpful to make people more confident, too. You don't think being the one to lose can help? Hmm... Do you play that part too? Perhaps even while training with me? Oh, um... You know I always fight using all my strength! All the time! You bet! Hmm... Not a great liar, are you? Even I know that. I'm weaker than Matoy anyway. I'm not taking it easy on you on purpose. No matter what she tried, though, it's a fact that we fought to a draw. Meaning, we're equally matched. I never worry about my opponent's circumstances. Huey would say, you're strong if you win and weak if you lose. And I agree. Yeah, that's true. But, if you were to intentionally take it easy on me, oh, that would make me angry! You got that, Matoy? No pulling any punches today, under any circumstances. Got it? Um, but... Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'll fight harder than I ever have today. <laughs> That's what I was hoping to hear! And... I guess I'll finish this part off with preparing for the final battle. Well, I actually finished this recording session. Critical roles in like 10 minutes. And Persona's 5 Strikers in 2 hours. <laughs> oh. Hey, good timing. This is to be our final battle, so let's call Earth Guide to ask for help. And we got through. Hmm? There's no video output? Weird. Yo, Sir Adam, can you hear us? It's loud and clear, Edgar. The audio is fine. Though the video connection seems to be on the fritz. 
perhaps it has something to do with the influence of the phantasms on the moon. You guys picked up on that too. You could have given us a friendly warning. I apologize. We were still in the middle of making preparations here. However, I can guess why you got in touch, Anka. All of our preparations are complete. Earth Guide will support you with all the power we have. Myself included, of course. For the sake of the people on Earth and their evolution, we must win this battle. However, the strength of those of Earth alone will not be enough. As such, Ark's operatives, please offer assistance in our hour of need. Anga, I want to make it clear to you. Please don't forget how important your safety and power are. Please be careful, and I'll see you next time, after you survive this. Huh. Likewise. Everything is in place for working with Earth Guide. Seems your worries were unfounded, Enga. They call her Comrade Earth Did they see through me? No, not a chance. What was that, Enga? Nothing. More importantly, when are things going to be ready here, Sierra? <laughs> determined the strike point, calculated the enemy's strength, made plans, and received full approval. I even received general approval for all kinds of backup plans. That's all I'm able to do, so I'll leave the rest to all of you. I'm sorry for always relying on you so much. I know I can count on you. Oh, I would love to do the fight, but I cannot. Well, I could also skip Critical Role, but eh. Eh. This is always going to be a short recording session anyway. I got money in the shop. Because I have to work tomorrow. Why well, this was going to be a short recording session. Thankfully, I don't have to go in at 6 in the morning. Like I was originally scheduled. Manage personal shop, use sales, but one of my weapons are in there. Thank you. Alright, well, I'm stopping here. I have to pick this up a few days from now. Anyway, thanks for watching.